Welcome to my web series. I'm Daskies, and this is where I jump between old and new games to answer the burning question, is it worth it? Today on The Cutting Block, Dead Space. I want to let you guys know that I've never played Dead Space before this point, nor have I ever really beaten any of the Dead Space games. I have played Callisto Protocol, which I will make a video of, and it will come out next week, but Dead Space is something that I never experienced. And for the most part, I was always too scared to play it. So when I saw the game was being remade, I got excited because it finally gave me a chance to get into it. If I were able to go back in time, the time of when originally Dead Space came out and had myself play that game, I think I would have been addicted. And I think the game is great. And if I wasn't just making videos back to back to back and I had time to like sit down and experience it again, I think this is one of those games I would have played twice. Anyways, let's talk about the story a little bit. In this game you play as Isaac Clarke on a mission to repair the Ishimura. Apparently, the rig found something that was on the commissioned planet that was changing people into monsters. Isaac and the team had no idea what was happening, and when they showed up, they essentially got jumped by the goon squad. Being completely murdered by these things, a lot of their team ended up dying and they lost their ship in their only way home. Marooned on this massive carcass, Isaac and the team have to somehow take apart pieces, put things back together, and ultimately save themselves from this infection that's spreading across the whole ship. Isaac Clark goes from just being an engineer to being an absolute surgeon with these mining tools that they have lying around inside the Ishimura. Right off the rip, you end up running away defenseless, but very quickly you become an absolute beast being able to tear these things apart limb from limb. And rather than taking the average approach of the way that they would do these zombie games and just shooting the head and waiting for it to just die, this game took it in a different approach and decided, we don't need a head, we just need the thing to be alive. And if it has any sort of limb left, it's going to keep attacking you. You'll have monsters crawling all the way up to just take a bite. And the thing is, I think it works exceptionally well because you are constantly trying to cut apart body parts and that becomes the repetitive nature of this game that's addictive. There's just something about shooting out a monster's legs, watching it fall over, and then slowly crawl its way to you. It just, it makes you feel like, okay, even though that thing is absolutely insane, I have a way to beat it, and it's solid. Not only that, but you got this little stomp move that's absolutely addicting to be able to use. One thing I wasn't a big fan of was the in the dark flashlight aim down sight thing that they have in this game. The only way to really look at things in the dark is to aim down sights. So it just becomes a hallway simulator at one point where you're aiming down your sights, looking ahead of you, trying to catch them before they catch you type of situation. And I much rather have had some sort of toggle on the light that was on the character and then have it illuminate whatever's in front of me. And then I just worry about things behind me. I feel like more often than not, I guess that was the feel that they wanted. They wanted you to feel like you were helpless when aiming down sights to look for things. And especially since they're taking away our ability to see, it could feel like you're running a little bit blind at times. Like I could see how this has a trope that's very horror-esque, but for me this game felt less horror and more action-packed. I would have much preferred having a toggle light, like I said, and having it just be more monsters and just having to deal with more rather than uh, being in the dark looking for things. I'm not down for the hide and seek Marco Polo shit. Another thing I like about this game is the zero gravity segments. They control really well and give you a true sense that there is no ground area. In space, everything could be walked on and gravity is artificial. And I believe that if this was a part of some sort of multiplayer, we could have something truly unique with a, a approach of ground or flying, it can make it so that you have your head on a swivel, constantly looking up, down, left, right, trying to take out the enemy. I think that would be a great addition. I know that like the little tack on multiplayers kind of suck more often than not for these games, especially back then when, when Dead Space actually released. Uh, these games all had some sort of multiplayer more often than not, or they would just tack it on as like an extra added bonus, like a DLC, like here, take a little, take a little multiplayer I feel like this would actually make a fun multiplayer. We capture the flag, uh, escort the bomb, anything like that. It would be really cool. And then being able to rip apart limbs on the other people. Or imagine having like the infected versus the engineers. And the engineers have to repair the station, but the infected are constantly attacking them. And the zero gravity would be like cool to navigate because like 
you would have infected jumping across your screen and attacking you from different areas or like having multiple ranged attacks it, it would be really fun to play something like that because it would remind me a lot of like left for dead meets a dead space and it would be a, a cross it would be a little baby beautiful baby boy on initial release this game on console had anti-aliasing issues that made it almost impossible to play after one day they released a patch that fixed it and thank god because i was going to talk so much shit about this game and how it costs a hundred dollars and they couldn't at least get the basics of anti-aliasing right one thing i love about this game is how you're able to level up your suit and your suit visibly changes every single time and the reveal of the suit is so satisfying like walking out of that little gate thing or if you go from level two to level three or four or five and whatever it is it, it, it makes you feel like you're just ready to take on the world and i kind of miss that in a lot of games like they, they don't do that often one game that did that really well was crackdown like i remember playing crackdown and getting addicted to like getting that next level that next suit that next little piece right and with every single iteration there'd be modifications that would be done to my character or whatnot and this game nails that this game nails that addictive feeling of getting stronger and visually looking cooler while that happens i wish i played this on a surround sound i feel like that would be such a different experience because of the fact that how good the sound is in this game and how you could get your spatial awareness from the different directions I played with a Sennheiser headset that is not bad by all means, it's a really good headset, but I feel the experience would be so different sitting in a room with a surround sound system that is just bonkers, hearing little clacks, hearing the metal creak, running happening on top of you, under you, around the walls. I feel like it would give you a different experience, I feel like the horror would probably hit differently rather than my experience where I heard left, right, and that's it. Don't get me wrong, I still heard all the metal bending and the creaks, almost like as if the ship was in agony or pain, but it did not hit the same way as it would in a quiet room in the dark sitting in front of a TV. And I feel like that may be the best way to experience this game. Regardless of whether or not I played it in every single different avenue that's possible, I still want to talk about whether or not Dead Space is worth it. Right now, Dead Space is retailing for a price of $79.99. It being one of the heavier, more expensive games, it's making it hard for me to give a rating, especially considering that it's a remake. The original came out in 2008, it's been 15 years. So for a lot of people that have not played it, it's hard to give them justification to spend full price on a brand new game that's actually an old one. I want to make it abundantly clear that this remake is 100% worth it and is going to become the new staple of what I use to be able to compare it to other remakes. So this game is going to be almost like a launch pad for when all these other remakes come out, but what I'm going to be constantly comparing it to. And to be honest, Dead Space makes some pretty big shoes to fill. So whatever games are going to be coming out past this point, it's going to be a little rough. We're going to hang in there. We're going to play every single one of them. Anyways, this is yet another episode of Is It Worth It? My name is Daskies, and I hope you enjoyed it. And for the most part, if you want to be a part of the recording process, click that little Twitch link below in the actual description. It was a pleasure. All the best. Never change. Watch out for strangers and look both ways across the street. And uh, yeah, I love you. You beautiful bastards.